closed Reading schools. Our Mike Shell is live at Reading Middle School. Mike, it's homecoming. Has that been affected? It has not, Rob. You know, they are taking this uh, uh, on alert here in Reading, but they're also taking this clown incident in stride. Let me show you what it looked like about a half an hour ago here in Reading. Homecoming parade and all the pomp and circumstance kicked off here from Reading Middle School made its way through town. The marching bands, the fans, the players, and the cheerleaders all getting geared up for their big game tonight against Finneytown. Now, if you didn't know any better, you never would have believed that someone had just threatened to shoot up their schools. It's just crazy. Barb Flynn has two grandkids who attend Reading schools, and she's upset over having to keep them home. It's appalling. The shut down the schools. It's, I don't know what's, what's their thought. They're nuts. The threats began early this morning at South Terrace Apartments off Reading Road. I want an emergency dispatch marshal. Hi, I need to make a report of a, a clown coming up behind me and grabbing me by my neck and making a threat. He just kept squeezing and he said, I should just go ahead and kill you now. The woman who said she was attacked did not want to be identified, and she told Reading Police that it was a younger black male dressed as a clown who came around the building while she was outside smoking a cigarette. And then all of a sudden, thank God, someone's smoke detector went off in their house, and it scared him, and he took off running. The woman also told police her attacker threatened school children. The kids in Reading, the schools, that there was going to be shootings at the high school and middle school tomorrow. That prompted Reading Community School officials to call off classes for the day. Brittany Robertson sends her four kids to school in this neighborhood. My kids were terrified. My daughter was crying because, you know, clowns are scared. They don't really know what to think. So, yeah, they were scared for a little bit. The threats came at a time when Reading was gearing up for its biggest football game of the year. I don't know, maybe if that had a play into it. They wanted to disrupt the homecoming and school. I don't know, but it's, it's just nuts. Now, Mount Notre Dame High School also canceled classes today, and the woman who said she was attacked, she told me today that she is going to be okay. Now, the word on the street is, and you saw this earlier, they're not going to let this clown caper ruin their homecoming celebration. Reporting live from Reading, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. All right, Mike, thank you very much.